Now let us assume if we have the following grammar. The grammar is E can derive E plus E slash E star A slash uh, E star A slash assume ID. Here plus star and ID. These are the set of terminals and here the variable is A and the start symbol is also A and this is the production and this is the production. Now for this given grammar, can you generate, uh, is there any string possible for which we can have two different pass trees? Let us check. If we have a string which is id plus id multiplied by id, id plus id multiplied by id, this is a string. Right, for this string, uh, is there two different pass trees possible? Let us see. From e, we can generate e plus e. Now from this e, or uh, yes, uh, this E can be replaced by E star E. This E can be replaced by ID. This can be replaced by ID. This can be replaced by ID. So if you check this complete grammar, then it is generating ID plus ID multiplied by ID. If you check this parse tree, if you check this parse tree, then you can check there are, um, this is generating this, this string. Now, can you get some other one more pass tree? If you can do E can generate E plus E star E. This E can generate E plus E. This E can generate ID. This can generate ID. This can generate ID. Therefore, if you check this one, you can see we can generate ID plus ID multiplied by ID. That means for generating the same string, we have two different pass trees which are possible. To generate the same string, we have two different pass trees which are possible. Therefore, hence we can call this grammar as ambiguous. We can call this grammar as ambiguous. So we are going to discuss more about this ambiguous grammars in compiler design. But for a, for a short introduction to ambi uh, this ambiguous grammar, let us try to see how can you remove the ambiguity from this grammar. How can you remove ambiguity from this grammar? Okay, so there, try to identify what are the reasons why this grammar is ambiguous. Why this grammar is ambiguous? See, this grammar is actually representing expression. This A is generating expression. We have expression plus expression, expression multiplied by expression, or we have ID that we'll be seeing at later point of time. What is this? So, this plus and multiplication, these are the operations actually. For example, if you have A multiplied, if you have something like this, A multiplied by B plus C, we can have A plus B multiplied by C and so on. We know that this multiplication is having higher precedence. Therefore, this multiplication should be calculated first and then this addition should be calculated. Then this addition should be calculated. Now, if you check these two, if you check these two, there are two different pass trees which are possible and in both these two different pass trees, there is a problem of precedence. Right, because generally what happens is, if you check this pass tree, on the lower level we have multiplication, on the upper level we have plus or you can say addition. So unless we do this multiplication, we will not be perform, able to perform this addition. Therefore, this multiplication is having higher precedence as compared to this addition. But here in this case, unless we perform this addition, we will not be able to do this multiplication. Right, so we already know what are the expression trees and we have seen these expression trees in data structures. So this is like an expression tree, but the problem is here we are, uh, uh, the difference is here we are presenting in terms of grammars. So in this expression tree, this plus is having higher precedence than this multiplication. This this expression tree can be evalu evaluated like this. First of all, we are going to evaluate id plus id, then we are going to multiply id. But here in this expression tree, first of all, we are going to evaluate id multiplied by id, then we are going to evaluate id, addition operation. Now, because these two additions operations, they they have different, different precedence in both this pass tree. Therefore, that is one thing which is going to make this pass tree as ambiguous, which is going to make this pass tree as ambiguous. Okay, this is one thing which is making uh, which is making this grammar is ambiguous. And second thing which is making this grammar is ambiguous is the rule of associativity. Is the rule of associativity. What is associativity? If we have something like this, if we have a multiplied by b multiplied by c, 
Now here this multiplication both are having same precedence. Now if two variables are having same precedence, so if two operations are having same precedence, then which operator should we evaluate, it, evaluate first? Now here you can see if two operations are having same precedence, then we look at associativity to tell what, what, what we should evaluate. Now for example, uh, in, in, uh, in program we can do integer a is equal to 5 divided by 10 multiplied by 6. We can also do integer a is equal to 6 multiplied by 5 divided by 10. So in, in general multiplication and division are having the same precedence. So we look at associativity. So associativity is left to right. Multiplication, sorry, multiplication, division and modulus. They are having same precedence. Associativity is left to right in the same way plus and minus are having same precedence associativity is left to right and these are having higher precedence as compared to plus and minus now here in this case multiplication and division are having the same precedence in programming uh, we first evaluate the left operator then we will evaluate the right operator so left to right so if you evaluate the first left operator so 5 divided by 10 is 0 uh, because integer divided by integer is integer you are not going to get uh, a point number here because we are not going to get 0 0.5 here we are going to get 0 that is only integer number and 0 multiplied by 6 is 0 but if we evaluate this the associativity is left to right therefore first of all we have to evaluate this left operand then right so 6 multiplied by 5 is 30 30 divided by 10 is 3 so we are going to get 3 in the same way if two multiplications are having the same precedence then associativity is left to right therefore we will evaluate this first and then we will evaluate this one and then we will evaluate this one now if you make an expression for this given grammar expression can be id multiplied by id multiplied by id are there two different pass trees possible for this string are there two different pass trees possible for this string let us try if we have e e can generate e star e this e can again generate e star e this can be replaced by id this can be replaced by id this can be replaced by id therefore the string which we are generating is id multiplied by id multiplied by id id multiplied by id multiplied by id this is the string okay can we make some other pass tree for the same string if you do e you can generate e star e this e can generate again e star e and this is generating id this is generating id this is generating id so if we if we check the string then the string is again id multiplied by id multiplied by id again here the grammar is not following the rules of associativity because here uh, this is having higher precedence the left one so it is left associative here this is having the higher precedence so it is right associative so it is right associative so for ambiguous grammar generally there are uh, two different you know reasons for ambiguity uh, in a grammar number one if the grammar is filling the rules of precedence then still we can get uh, ambiguity second one if a grammar is filling the rules of associativity still we are going to get ambiguity so generally if you want to remove an ambiguity from a grammar then we then we you know uh, to remove ambiguity we uh, uh, make the grammar or we can uh, we can will try uh, the grammar should follow these rules the grammar should be able to follow the rules of precedence and the grammar should be able to follow the rules of associativity now if you check this given pass tree how can you make the grammar to follow the rules of precedence to make the grammar follow the rules of precedence you have to increase the level of the operation which is having higher precedence because here uh, this is uh, here this is in more depth as compared to this so this is increase if you are increasing the level of operator which is having higher precedence then uh, then uh, we can follow the rules of precedence and if you look at rules of associativity so to follow the rules of associativity either we can make the pass tree as left linear or we can make the pass tree as right linear if the make the grammar in such a way that every string which we are going to generate if that string is uh, uh, can be generated from a left linear pass tree therefore the associativity is left to right right so we have to make it left linear right because left linear means you are in the left side and growing in the left side if every pass tree which we can generate for a uh, uh, same precedence operator if the pass tree is generating only left on only on the left side so it is left linear otherwise the pass tree if generating only on the right side though so it is right linear so uh, this will make the grammar as left to right associative this will make the grammar as uh, right to left associative so we have to 
follow the rules of associativity we have to follow the rules of precedence to make the grammar as unambiguous okay so uh, how can you make how can you follow the rules of uh, uh, you know associativity to follow the rules of associativity you have to make it left linear or right linear to make to follow the rules of precedence you have to make you have to increase the level of this operator okay so let me try to show something to you let me try to do it okay